Welcome everyone to the first coding section of the course. We're starting out with the most essential, fundamental parts of pretty much any language, but especially with JavaScript, values and variables. The building blocks of the language, the stuff we learn in this section will come up again and again in pretty much every line of code we write through the end of the course. Very, very important stuff, but a couple of goals first off. By the end of the section, we want to understand what primitive types are, what are the different primitive types, and we want to be able to work with them. We'll talk about creating variables two different ways with let and const, two keywords, we'll compare and contrast the two. We'll also talk about something called var, which some of you may be familiar with. We'll create string template literals, and we'll work with common mathematical operations, different string methods, and other useful bits of functionality. But we're going to start by talking about primitive types. So every language out there, at least every language I've worked with, has a group of types, different categories for data, fundamental pieces, sort of like DNA of the language. We need to work with information, store information, whatever it is, we need to represent data in our code, whether it's a large app or a small app. So imagine we had this form. This is HTML and CSS, no JavaScript involved. When this form is submitted, suppose that we're working with it in JavaScript. We want to analyze it, we want to add it to a database, we'll do something with it we would need to be able to represent the different information, the different values a user had entered using JavaScript. So there's different types. With just a simple form like this, there's at least three different types of information. We have words. Somebody's gonna type words here and here and here. So that would be textual information, which in JavaScript is called a string. We have numeric data. This rating here, while the user is not actually typing a number, in JavaScript, we would represent the value using a number. One to five, maybe we'll allow them to do zero, so zero to five, but it's a numeric value. And then we've got this down here, the checkbox. I agree to the terms, blah, 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 blah. True or false, yes or no. We could use a number to represent that, zero or one, or we could do something arbitrary, 50 or 51, as long as we are consistent. We could use text, the string or the piece of text, yes or no. But instead, the simplest solution is to use a third type called Boolean, which is a simple true or false yes or no value. So back to this slide, primitive types. In JavaScript, we have a group of these super, super basic primitive types, the different categories for values, the different ways we can store information at the lowest level. So some of them are self-explanatory, like number, it makes sense, it's a numeric value. Another category is string, which we already talked about briefly, it is text, words, it could be a number, but they're inside quotation marks, so it's treated as text. We have Booleans, which are true or false values, and then we have these things null and undefined. We'll spend time on each one of these types in this section. And we also have two more that we're not going to talk about just yet, symbol and big int, nowhere near as common as these five, but they do exist. So that's where we're going. We're gonna start by just surveying each one of these types, understanding what they are, how they work, how we create variables with them, a whole bunch of stuff. So let's get started. <laughs> 